Okay, so today we're going to look at this menu item that comes up when you put your mouse over the maximize button in any window in Windows 11. We're going to show you what it does, but more importantly, if you don't like it, we're going to show you how you can turn it off. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what is this menu? What are these boxes that keep coming up when you put your mouse over the maximize button? So as you can see, I've just moved my mouse over it and look, all these boxes have come up. It can be quite annoying if you're not used to it, but it can be quite a good thing because if you want to multitask, then what you can do is you can lay out your windows on the screen. So you've got several windows open at once. So what do I mean by this? So like here at the moment, so I've got my web browser open on the left and I've got my word processor open on the right, which means that I can type letters whilst reading the news. Or if I wanted to, I can copy and paste things. Like for instance, if I wanted to copy and paste this paragraph here, I can highlight it, right click on it, go copy, go into work, my word processor there on the right, right click, and then I can just paste. Or I can just be doing two different things at the same time. I could be keeping an eye on the news, on the football scores, whilst writing a letter all on one screen. So how did I get to this? So all I did was let's just, just, just open this up. I've just opened two things on at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, say for instance, my web browser, and then I'm going to open up Word as well at the same time. So let's just uh, click on the start button and type in Word. Open that up. Word's opening. There we go. Open up a blank document. Let's maximize this now. So I've got the two things open on my computer. I can click on the little icons at the bottom of the screen and switch between the two. But what if I wanted both of them open at the same time? If I move my mouse over the minimize, maximize button or the maximize restore button, then I've got these boxes come up. And if I click say on this box just here, that means that's gonna put my Word to the left of the screen and Firefox to the right. So let's just do that. There we go. So Word's on the left, Firefox is on the right. So I can look at the news and I can still type letters on the left hand side of the screen. If I wanted to swap them around, so if I move my mouse up there, don't click on it, I can say move this over to the right. And then you'll notice here Firefox goes a little bit small. Just press the enter or return key on your keyboard. And there you go, that swapped the windows around. What if I wanted three windows open at, at any time? Then what I can do is I can open up another thing. So say for instance, I've opened up File Explorer, okay? And if I just move the mouse over the uh, Restore Maximize button, and there we go, we've got a layout there. So this is suggesting that we have the this window here that's out in front, the Explorer window large and the Firefox up in the top right hand corner and Word in the bottom right hand corner. But say if I wanted to select something different, then what I can do is I can just make sure my mouse stays over there and let's just click on this here, this bottom right hand part of the window. And that will put File Explorer down in the bottom right. If I press enter on my keyboard, because this has come up small, that has now made Word into a quarter size box, the File Explorer into a quarter size box and Firefox into half the size on the screen. Now you can just play around with this if you want, just like I say, if I wanted to say, for instance, perhaps change Firefox over to a quarter size screen. If I just move a mouse over the restore maximize button there, and just perhaps click on one of these boxes. There you go, that's made it quarter size. And uh, Word has gone small. Let's just press the enter key to say, yeah, I'm happy with that. But if I wanted to make Word half size, just move your mouse over the minimize, maximize box there till this comes up. And let's just click on this here to make Word half screen, Firefox quarter screen, and File Manager quarter screen. Okay, so you can have up to four 
boxes open at any one time here. So say for instance, I don't know, let's open Excel. And if we go up to the restore button, just there, maximize button, click on the four windows there, press the enter key on the keyboard. And there we go. We've got four windows open at any one time. We've got Excel open. We've got Word open just down there. We've got File Explorer and we've got our web browser as well. You can do it. You can put your emails up as well if you want to. There's no limit to what apps that you have on the screen. So you're probably thinking, yep, yeah, load of rubbish, never going to use it. I'm actually prefer just either using one app at a time or if I am going to be using multiple apps, I'm quite happy to just click between the apps at the bottom of the screen and flip between them just manually like so. So how do you get rid of that from coming up every time you go to the maximize restore button? Well, all you do is go click on the start button, go into settings and then go to system, scroll down and you're looking for multitasking. Click on multitasking and just turn off snap windows. Once you've turned off snap windows, close that down. And as you can see, when I put my mouse over any of the restore maximize buttons there, nothing comes up. You don't get those boxes appearing on the screen. So there you go. That guide gave you a little insight into snap windows and also how to turn them off. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.